Whether he was performing as the iconic Jean Valjean from Les Miserables or a rousing version of O Canada during the 1992 World Series. Stand on God for no one sounded like Michael Burgess. Born in Regina, he had an early start joining Toronto's famed St. Michael's Choir as a young boy. Every day I came past this building, usually late for class, carrying my books and a dream. It was the role of the convict in Les Miserables that struck a chord with Canadians. His understudy marveled at the way Burgess connected. And he sang to everyone, everyone in every seat, sort of like he did with the national anthems later, that when he sang O Canada, there was a certain sense of pride he had when he sang that song. After Les Mis, other roles followed, including Man of La Mancha and numerous live performances. And when it came to singing for a cause, Burgess was happy to help, even as he began a lengthy fight with skin cancer. His commitment never wavered. I think Michael, you know, um, would never win awards for being, you know, the, the most organized business person in the world, but uh, would win kudos for being just an incredibly generous person that would, you know, make time to, you know, to sing at weddings, funerals. Um, charity events. Fellow St. Michael's alumni Adrian Lucis was with Burgess as his family gathered around him, listening to the music he made and was famous for. Michael was definitely at peace and all I can think of is, you know, is, is in Bring Him Home and the way he sings it so beautifully is Bring Him Home, Bring, his, bring Him Peace. It, it's, it's how he will remember it and he did, he did go out with peace and dignity. Michael Burgess was 70 years old. Eli Glasner, CBC News, Toronto.